I'm muted, huh? Was I just muted? <laughs> I heard, yes. Can you hear me now? I think we're good. How about now? Can you guys hear me? Let me know. I'm waiting for the comments to catch up. <laughs> okay, Wolf Guys, thank you. I am so sorry, that was my fault. Usually I'm pretty good about that. Well, let's, let's restart that. Welcome, my name is Kennedy. I am the social media specialist here at SMP. And now that you can hear me, Welcome to Takeover Tuesday. I am so excited to have all of you guys here this morning and to hang out with you. I'm sorry, guys. Usually I'm very paranoid about that whole microphone issue, so <laughs> it's okay. We all, we gotta, we gotta learn from our mistakes, right? All right. Well, welcome. And 
let me say hi to some of you guys real quick before we get started. Melissa, no, it wasn't your computer. I'm I'm sorry. But now that we're working, now we're back in action. We're good to go. <laughs> All right. Linda, good morning. Linda Brooks. We got Melissa E here. We've got Belinda Brine. Good morning. All my friends are here. We got Wolfgeist. Um, Wolfgeist, I've got my coffee. No cheesecake yet. I'm still, I'm waiting for the perfect day that I can bring some cheesecake. Cindy, there's no Roger behind me. He just left. You probably would have heard him leave. I wasn't on mute just a few minutes ago, but it's okay. We've got Aaron Potts in Ohio. Welcome. Handcrafted by Sissy. Welcome. Welcome. I'm seeing some new names, which is really exciting. Um, it's so fun to see new people on here and chat with um, some new friends. So welcome if you're new. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about what things we have going on before we dive into today's show. It'll be quick. Don't worry, I'll be fast. But Quilt Fest is coming up so, so soon, you guys. We have, we are, pro I think we're about less than a month out, and we have just been so busy planning and getting everything going. And we're finalizing the schedule, we're finalizing the prizes. That's something that we're really working on this week is trying to get all the prizes all squared away and all ready for everyone and all the things like that. We're just, we're busy bees over here. And I saw a lot of comments about, you know, weather and the sickness is going around a lot. You guys know I wasn't here a couple weeks ago. We didn't have a show because I was sick, but now it seems like it's just that time. Everybody's getting sick these days. So I hope everybody is getting through it in if you're home, try and make the best of it and treat yourself kindly and relax and, you know, don't push yourself because it's being sick is no fun. I swear it's, it's never good. And I wish that upon no one. So I hope that everybody is doing okay and getting in good health. Lovely Panda Creations. I am good. Welcome. And thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, Ella Bly, good morning. Jennifer Hoffman. All my friends are here. I'm so excited. Um, Ella, please know that I'm praying for you and I hope that you are doing okay. And please, if you ever need anything, feel free to reach out. But with that quilt fest, it's coming so soon before you know it, it'll, I'll be saying it's next week. You know, I'm so excited and we have our contest open. So if you have a project that you, you know, have finished, maybe you finished it a couple weeks ago, months ago, whatever the case is, and you are looking to enter a contest, please join. I mean, join the fun. It's so great. All of us are behind the scenes looking at the quilts and, you know, we're sorting through all the entries and then it's up to the viewers and all of you guys to vote on your favorite one. So I highly recommend just putting one out there. And even if it might seem scary for you to enter a quilt contest, maybe you've never done it before. Please know the SMP Nation community is so welcoming and so kind and it's just a good way to get connected and involved and, you know, join the fun of a quilt contest. It's so great. And you do it from your home. You can do it in your pajamas. Come on, you guys. Don't you want to do things in your pajamas and just be home? Me too. It's good. We got a schedule going on here. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we've got Quilt Fest coming up. Blaine's show this Thursday. We are just we're, we're, we're doing it. We're chugging along, you guys. It's a week and we are getting through it. And before you know, it, it's going to be Friday. Time is going by too fast. I can't even wrap my brain around it. But with that, let's get into today's episode. Now, we are going to be talking all about long arm essentials. So we have the amazing Kim Sandberg and Denise Dowdrick here from Handy Quilter to share some of their favorite, you know, essentials and their favorite things when it comes to long arming and just a little inside, you know, look into some of the things you might not think you need or, you know, whatever, whatever the thing is. If you're new to long arming, tune in and we will show you all the funness and all the great things involved with long arm quilting because I love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, I first started when I was doing, um, when I was working at our store and I would never even seen a long arm machine before. And I was like, what is this? I, I don't know. And as soon as I did something, and I think I probably did like a flower or something, I was hooked. I'm like, this is so fun. So easy. And I just kind of knew, I understood. I'm like, I, I understand why this is so great. So why not do a video on it today here on Takeover Tuesday and with the best of the best, Kim and Denise. I mean, you guys have seen them. Kim's a part of the Foxy Moxies. I'm sure you have seen 
um, you know, them on our festivals and they're great. So I'm excited. Anne Philbeck says she's a long armor for eight years. See, it's just, it's great. It's, it's so much fun. And I'm very new to it. I mean, I've haven't, you know, officially finished a full project on it before, but I want to, I mean, this is the year I was saying at the beginning of the year, try something new. So this might be the new thing you guys We'll see. We'll see. Maybe after today's video, I'll be putting a long arm right over there and setting it up and we'll be off to the races. But yes. All right. Well, if you guys are excited and ready to get started, I am too. So let's go ahead and head over to Kim and Denise at Handy Quilter and see what they have in store for us today. I am so excited. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are excited. so excited. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> We are excited to be here. When you uh, when you sent this invite, we thought, oh, how fun to like share some of our favorite things. So yeah, we're we're ready to take off and answer questions and and just invite you guys into the type of quilting that we like to do. So you know, we yeah. always talk about machines specifically, but mm -hmm. I think my favorite part is always you know the notions and the fun little techniques and tricks. Mm -hmm. So we had to highlight them today, of course. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Um, All right. Well, I'm going to show you. Oh. oh, I just want to jump ahead. in. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm, you're, I'm sorry. You're so good. many things to show you. <laughs> okay. So today we're actually going to be um, quilting on our new Amara ST. We are really, really excited. This is our new stationary machine with 20 inches of throat space. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It is a dream to stitch. We also have amazing um, stitch regulation. It's built right into the table. We've got insight sensors on either side of the throat space. That gives us really high quality stitches. Um, the stitch regulation is a dream in this machine. It is. Um, so Kim, yeah, we get a lot of phone calls. We do. <laughs> one of the number one phone calls we get is, why don't my stitches look good? Um, I have loops, I have things going on. Right. Where does that all start? So it starts with tension on the long arm. And, and we, we know, because we teach beginners all the time, often this is the first uh, kind of hill you have to climb with long arm quilting. That's right. Um, like Kennedy was just mentioning, it's really fun to just get on the machine and play. But if you don't have good tension, you're not happy with your stitches. So we just wanted to do a quick little bit of sharing some um, some ideas of how to get that perfect tension. And then we're gonna show you some of our favorite things. So Denise is going to walk through the steps really quickly. We always start with what, when we set tension, Denise? We start right here. We start at the bobbin and the bobbin case. So notice before I'm even stitching, my bobbin case is out of the machine. Yep. I'm going to put my bobbin in there. I'm just using a little pre-wound today. Um, making sure that my bobbin is in there and it's rotating clockwise. And now I can just pull on my thread. If my bobbin stands up in its case in my hand, I have really good tension. It's not leaving my hand. It's not um, laying down. It stands fully up. I know that's really good tension. Yep. So I'm ready to just go ahead and insert that in the machine. So Denise is going to pop that into the bobbin area. And once you've got that foundation um, tension set, we don't need to worry about that one no. anymore, right? No. It's so now it's all yeah. up here. Right up here. So what does, it, what does good tension on the top start with, Denise? Good tension on the top always starts in the bobbin. And then we make sure that we follow the thread path. Exactly. So I'm going to start by threading it over the thread mast, through all of the guides on the body of the machine. And then I'm going to make sure it's fully seated in here. Sometimes I'll even hold my hands on both sides of the thread and pull it up like dental floss. Yep. Really make sure it's snapped in there. Follow around the rest of the guides. And then I stop right here. So where this thread leaves this last guide before it goes down to the needle area, I'm going to pull on the thread there. I want to feel resistance on the thread at this point. If I feel resistance, then I know it's it's really seated well in the tension disc. Exactly. If I don't, I want to go back and double check that. So from right there, I'm going to pull. If I need to make an adjustment right here on this knob, I'm going to turn it clockwise to make it tighter. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to make it looser. 
So the good old righty tidy lefty Lucy still works on this one, right? That's right. And notice when I'm turning that, I I actually like making sure I have my fingers at like um, 12 o'clock and six o'clock. So when I turn, I make sure I'm keeping track of how much I turned. Sometimes you're gonna have to make a really big turn to get a good tension adjustment, depending on the type of thread you're using. And then I'm gonna check again right here. If it feels really, really tight, I might have over tightened and I'll just back off a little. So all of the adjustments at this point are gonna be made up here right. because I already did my bobbin. I don't need to do that again. It's already set. So I'm gonna make all the adjustments on the top. And then of course, once I come into the needle area, I'm going to go ahead and thread that little guide above my needle, thread the needle itself. And I wanna make sure that I'm using the right size needle for the type of thread I'm using. So we're really lucky because in our Amara series, um, the family of machines has an online uh, or has an on-screen guide that walks you through tension and needles and what weights of thread work best with different needles. So it's kind of nice to have that handy all the time. So today I've got this beautiful green thread. I hope it shows up really, really <laughs> so nicely. So everybody can see what you're doing. Yes, because we're gonna we, do You know what, let's flip this around stitching. to the other side where you haven't stitched yet. I think that's a good idea. And we'll I, do a little bit of stitching so that you guys can see. So if that's I were- tension. Yeah, if I were on a real quilt, I would wanna check off to the side of the quilt. Mm -hmm. I still want my quilt sandwich to be the same making sure my tension's good. But I'm gonna just check that by bringing up my bobbin thread first. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my bobbin thread. Taking a stitch allows me to bring up that bobbin thread. Kim had a brilliant idea when I chose that pretty <laughs> green for the top. She said, let's use red for the bobbin. So really nice contrast so you can see the two different threads. Now, do we recommend that you actually use two different colors of thread in quilting? Not in real quilting. Not in real Not quilting. Not in real quilting. I'd want those to match as closely as possible. I do like mixing up different thread weights. Right. But the colors I keep as close as I can. But exactly. today we just wanted to show that. So now I'm ready to take some sample stitches and I'm gonna do little like circles and little zigzags because that's where tension issues like to show up first. Looks like you've got pretty good tension there, it Denise. It does. And that's because I took the time to set my bobbin first and then check the upper thread path. And then again, make sure that it is firm that thread is seated in that tension disc but those are some really pretty stitches they, they look fantastic. they look really nice and the real trick to conquering a uh, good tension is not being afraid to try 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 again Absolutely. until you get it right mm -hmm. so all right well Denise I think I think we've covered our we're always big about education here we love to talk about and teach you how to use your long arm. And so we we just feel like we can't talk about long arming without a little bit of a lesson in there. So we talked about tension. Um, I think we're ready to start talking about some of our other favorite things. And what's the first thing? So we we are you just showed everybody it, but um, your first favorite thing that we need to have an extra of with I our machine. I think you need to have an extra bobbin case. And like I said, I love using thread colors that match whatever I have on the top, but I love using like 60 weight bobbin thread in my bobbin. Mm -hmm. So I have a bobbin case just for 60 weight. And then I keep a second case for using some of those heavier weights of thread. That way I don't have to make constant adjustments to the bobbin case. It's just exactly. really, really easy and convenient to keep one for different weights. So. It's also nice to have it in case if your bobbin case decides it doesn't want to participate in quilting oh, on a Saturday night at 1030. Oh. And you don't have your quilty best friend living next door who happens to have an extra bobbin case. Oh no, that is so. the worst. So it's, it's always great to have a backup. So um, you know what, while we're, while we're on the subject of the bobbin area, mm -hmm. can we talk about those really, really pretty bobbins? You yes. Know which one I'm talking okay, about. Okay, yeah, right, I do. Kim? Let me grab these. So we've got all of our favorite things on the shelf back here. Okay, so these are our purple bobbins. And let me tell you something, look at these. They're purple, they're so cute. 
They're pretty anodized purple bobbins. They're just regular bobbins. They're the M class that we recommend. And the best part about these ones is they come with this case. So it's really easy to keep your thread uh, dust free, keep everything organized in here. Um, at home, I kind of have mine organized by color in the rows, so it's easy to find things. But yeah, these are these are awesome. I love these. Oh, and and they're beautiful. I they might are. have taken two out of my package and made a pair of earrings because they were so cute. <laughs> totally. Um, but they work the same as the other bobbins. Um, yeah, I think it's actually a little bit better deal to buy it. Um, all together in one yeah. case like this too. It definitely and is. I love having extra bobbins. I see that. I see that we're getting some comments on the purple. The purple is really fun. And yes, I actually bought an entire case of these and I think I made them all into earrings for all of my quilting friends. I might've even put some on chains for necklaces. So we're just oh, saying they can be yeah. for more than just long arm quilting. They're very fun. Maybe I need a bracelet charm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll know. have to start something <laughs> else. But they really are a lot of fun. So well, let's get into some stitching, shall we? Yeah. Okay. So um, now, because I'm quilting on a stationary machine today, I am moving the fabric with my hands rather than moving the machine, moving the fabric. So I like having some tools available to help me move the fabric. Right. Um, sometimes I can hold it just fine with my hands. Other times I might feel a little more secure by using um, some machine grooves gloves, which they're really, really great because they're just nice, soft cotton. But if you look at the back of the package, there's also a sizing guide. So Which if you're not nice. sure what size, you can put your hand right up to that and it'll tell you what size fits you best. Um, mm -hmm. Those are really, really nice because they're not drying on your hands. Um, they're really, really comfortable, um, makes it very easy to grip the fabric and maneuver the fabric around. I know for me, I love wearing the gloves when I do stationary quilting. It My hands don't get as tired because I don't have to press as hard to hold That's the true. fabric in place. I can do it with a lighter touch. Um, I also like to use the machine gears when I use rulers on my stand-up long arm, on my frame oh, mounted. That, that is a fantastic idea. Yeah, it gives me a little extra grip. I am I am the one gloved wonder when I do this because I just have it on my left hand and it helps me hold those rulers in place. Once again, I don't have to put as much pressure on them. So it's a nice, nice thing if your hands are getting a little tired because you've been doing a lot of quilting. That's a great idea. So those are a good option. Mm -hmm. Can we show them some other options? Yeah, too? yeah, let's show them some other options. Okay. So we've got, I can pull these ones over here. These are the? These are our sweet spots. They're and fantastic. They are great. Um, I have kind of small hands. I like that I can hold one of, look how small these are. I just hold that easily in my hand. So when I need to maneuver the fabric around, look at how easy that is to hold. I have a really nice grasp on them. They're not too big. They just allow me to put a little more, little more hold, a little more grip. Now, that being said, this is on a small project. If you get into a really big project, you might want a little more grip. Yep. And we so have these. look at these. Aren't these great? These, these are, the are paddles. paddles. Um, the other thing I like about the paddles, they have this knob that's removable. Mm -hmm. So you can decide if you want to quilt with the knob on or the knob off, just a couple twists, and I can take that off. And look how easy that is. So sometimes I actually like quilting with the knob off. But I can kind of put that on my fabric and make a little hoop for myself. And that helps me hang on to those larger quilts a little bit and have a little more control right where I need it. So let's jump into a little bit of stitching and show them how those work, yeah, shall yeah, we? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, so I'm gonna move past my test now. I've got my test done. I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch over here. And I get my paddle down, put those right where I want. When I have the paddles down, I, I'm gonna move those around actually, make myself a little more comfortable. I like to actually put them down and I push them just apart just a little bit just to give myself a nice surface for stitching. A little tension on a that fabric, tension right? On that fabric. Isn't that great? It is. Get in here and do some fun little swirls. But I really feel like I have a lot more control when I have a little grip on there. The the little ones, the sweet spots, they work the same way. I'm just gonna put them right where I need to go. But as I need to lift my hands and move them around, I just take the sweet spot right along with me and look how easy that is. Those are awesome. So Denise, the next thing let's talk about, you've actually, it's behind you. Um, oh. it's, this is something that we use when we're planning our quilting. Right. So one of the number one things we get asked all the time is, 
how do we decide what we're going to quilt on the quilt? Well, this is our favorite thing that we like to use. It's called filters preview paper and it comes in a roll. And Denise has actually got some, I've got this, I'll just set this here. <laughs> Denise has got a project and she'll show you how this actually works. So this is a fun quilt that she's working on a little one for a actually a challenge we've been working on. It right? is a challenge and I'm going to be quilting this live really, really soon. I think in a week. <laughs> like next week. So before jumping in live, I thought it would be a really good idea to figure out what I'm doing before we start filming. And Always a great a good idea. way to do that is just to do some designing. So I just unroll my quilters pre preview paper. I'm going to roll it that way. You'll notice I've got this orange um, edge on there. That's just some painter's tape I put on there. That way when I'm drawing on the quilt, I don't accidentally draw on the quilt. I right. want to draw over it, not on it. <gasps> and I just drew, I used two different colors of Sharpie. I drew out my block and then I started auditioning some different designs. So I drew out my block in black and I auditioned some designs in blue just to kind of give me an idea of what I'd like to do. Look that up, you guys can see the designs. It's a little hard to see those designs that are on the black. And this is so awesome because you're able to actually audition these designs at scale at the actual size that they're going to be stitched on the machine. So it helps you plan density, um, see how it looks. I know I love to use, um, I'll have a quilt up on my design wall, and I love to use this to put over the top of the quilt. And then every time I walk by, I use dry erase markers. I'll write, erase a little bit, and I'll change something, snap a picture of it so I can remember what the option was before. That is a great idea. Preview paper is a lot of fun, isn't it? It really is. So, so what Kim's saying, if I had just drawn out my outline with the Sharpie, I could go back in and I could audition with dry erase. Um, I started auditioning some straight line quilting. I thought that's really what I wanted to do, but then I drew a little feather and I liked that better with, I've kind of got some little wishbone quilting. I think I like okay. the feather better with that. So, and again, it's a little tricky to see um, on, on that black. black fabric. Maybe I can move some of it over to the white area. There that you go. Way, you see those wishbones. Show it off a little bit better. So. But it really is great because it helps you design. Um, it's not expensive. It's a really just kind of um, easy, inexpensive way to audition. And as a bonus, I'm building muscle memory while I'm drawing it out. So I'm learning the path I want to make. I'm learning where the designs are getting placed. And like Kim said, they're to scale, which makes it just really ideal, great practice. Yep. Isn't that fun? It is. It is. I love Quilter's preview paper. So the next couple things we have to show you are some of our favorites that we talk about all the time, the feet on the machine. So we have so many different fun feet that we can put on all, the full line of uh, handy quilter and long arms and they're fantastic. So let me grab, you know what, let's do this one first. Oh, what are we doing first? Okay. So first we're going to do the sure foot. So this has a taller profile down here on the bottom of it. And Denise is actually going to change this really quick. We'll show you guys how easy it is to change the foot. And what it allows you to do is safely use rulers. And rulers are just so much fun. And we can't even begin to show you guys all the rulers that we carry. We carry a ton of different rulers. Um, we have one here that we can do a little bit of a demonstration with. But rulers are just fantastic when you want precise quilting. Rulers allow you to have that precise uh, line to control the size, do all of those good things. You guys can see here how easy it is to change that foot. Just have to undo, loosen a screw. You don't even have to pop it all the way out. And then Denise is popping that back in there. Yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure under that foot while I put that new one on. So I know it's nice and secure now. And we've got a ruler here. So this is called our HQ Curvy. You guys can see that all of our rulers are etched on the back. They're fantastic. And I can't pick a favorite ruler. It just depends oh, on gosh. what I'm working what on. What I'm working on. And, yeah. and what goes with it. A lot of people ask what the favorite is. It's whatever one is in my hand. Exactly. Exactly. Now we've got a couple of dots of something on the back here. So this is called Handy Grip. And it's kind of like... Um, sandpaper feeling. And what it does is it allows the ruler to grip and stay firmly on the fabric. And especially when you're doing stationary quilting, this is really important because you're moving the ruler and the fabric at the same time. So 
Denise That's is right. going to do a little bit of quilting here for us. And sometimes too, with the little sweet spots, they fit right on top of mm -hmm. the ruler. So if you feel a little more secure that way, the sweet spots holding onto the ruler, that handy grips keeping it right where I want. And now I'm just going to choose a new place to get started again. Bring up that bobbin thread. Oh, good call on that red. It's perfect. I can see exactly <laughs> where that, where my bobbin is. I'm just going to lock that down with a couple of stitches. I love it. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put my ruler right behind the foot. I'm going to line up. There's all kinds of lines etched on here. I don't know if you can see that. There's lines etched right in the ruler, all kinds of guidelines. So I can use those to help guide my placement on the fabric. So I'm going to put those right where I want. Do a little bit of manipulating my fabric where I want. And I'm still using my sweet spots, but I'm keeping really good pressure with the ruler. When I stop stitching too, you'll notice I stop stitching before I move the ruler, before I move the foot, it just helps to hang on. And you have your needle stopping in that needle down yes, position. Yeah, well, you don't get that little bobble when you start stitching again. Absolutely. Right? That's just going to hold the perfect position for me before I move on. Just move that edge just right along. Just keeping that it. nice and snug. Quilting with rulers is not fast, but it is precise, which yes. is what makes it wonderful. When you want um, those really precise straight lines or curves, rulers are just perfect for that. I think they're actually one of the funnest things to use in our toolbox of all the fun things that we have. Oh, I agree because, because you could just create so many fun shapes and other things with it. So Denise Absolutely. just did a simple continuous, just a simple little continuous design curve there, but I hit every point just where I wanted to, because I'm eyeing the ruler, I'm lining things up with the foot and that gives me that real precise placement right where I want it. So let's talk about a couple or actually three of our other favorite feet. So first of all, we have what's called the glide foot here. And this is fantastic when you're doing um, free motion quilting. Oh. Uh, if you're doing quilt from the back. If you're doing quilt from the back. Also, if you have a quilt with a lot of fullness or yes. some puffy batting, oh my goodness. This, this foot's going to be your best friend. It's going to help so much. It is. It's also, if you happen to have a pro stitcher on your machine, this is the foot that lives on my machine that Absolutely. has a pro stitcher on it. I can turn my back on my machine and I never worry about it catching an edge or pulling something to the side because I've got a thick seam, any of those kind of things. As the name says, it just glides right over whatever we're working on. Um, the next foot that we absolutely love is called the micro foot. And this is for micro quilting. Yes. Um, but you know what? I'm starting to find, it's it's funny how when we develop a product, which is one of the fun things that us as educators get to do, we get to help with developing products. Um, at first we were like, oh, micro quilting only. I'm, I'm starting to get to the point now, even sometimes when I'm doing just free motion, but it's a little more intense free motion. I love to have this because of the visibility of the needle. There's nothing to block the view of that needle because there's no ring around the needle, anything like that. So the micro foot is fantastic. I love it. I'm a fan of this foot too. The thing I love doing is quilting around applique. Mm -hmm. This lets me get right up next to that applique. I don't have any gaps. I have full visibility of where my stitches are going the whole time. It, it is just really a great foot. It, I was a little leery at first Me when too. I first saw it because there's no foot there. There's nothing there, but it still gives you really great stitches and allows you to see exactly where every stitch is going. Yep. It's fantastic. Okay. Then the next set of feet we want to talk about, these are the perennial favorites. And anytime people see these couching, the couching feet. So the couching feet, you can see that they've got these little colored discs that are inside of the foot and they've got different sizes here. You can see the millimeter size. So we've got 1.5, 2, and 3 millimeter. And that's how wide that little opening is there in the center. And what you do is you pull yarn through there and it stitches it down. And it is like quilting magic. I love quilting with the couching feet. It's um, like one of my favorite things to do with this is I call it my baby quilt in three hours. Load some flannel backing, have a solid piece on the top. 
stitch with a cute yarn, maybe a variegated yarn, and do a fun design over the top of it. And you've got an awesome, awesome quilt with a really unique, fun design. And everybody's like, where did you get that? And you tell them you made it. Like, people are just in awe. It blows them away. The thing I like about this foot too is you can use it with free motion, mm -hmm. but did you know you can use it with your pro stitcher right. too? So it's really fantastic. I can do that quick baby quilt, like Kim said, use my pro stitcher to do an all over edge to edge design, do that couching on there. And I love putting like minky cuddle on the back and a piece of flannel on the top. I don't even have to do any piecing for those quilts. The quilting with the couching just makes a beautiful quick quilt. Now, the next thing we wanna show you guys is definitely one of our absolute favorites. These are our batting scissors. And I've actually got here, Denise, I'll let you hold these. Okay. I've got a pair in the package so you guys can see what they look like, the handy batting scissors. So, and these are, these are big. You guys can see yeah. how big they are. They're big scissors, but they're fantastic the way that they're offset. They just make it so easy to cut batting, fabric. These are the scissors yeah. that I keep locked in a separate drawer. Nobody in my family is even allowed to breathe on no. these scissors, right? No, they are not. The other thing I like about that is if you can see the tip there of these, see how they're rounded, see how it's blunt. That's really great for getting under those big rolls mm -hmm. of batting. I can cut the piece off that I need. They're very sharp, but the tip of them is soft and rounded, so it's not going to catch on anything. I cut right off the roll with the, with these, and uh, I actually have several different pair because um, I worry that somebody's going to use them, so I have a backup pair that's still <laughs> in its package. And then somebody did use one at my house, so I have a pair set aside for cardboard only now. <laughs> it's like, don't use really? those. Oh don't gosh. use those. Oh. Me husband. too. He knows better. He, I know. He's a, a quilter too. I, I know. He got a big talking to over that one. Uh, okay. So the machine we're on today, we don't have a frame, but we wanted to show you a few of our favorite frame accessories. So we've got three different things here. here Denise, I'll let you hold up these easy grass clumps. So first of all is the hand wheel kit. So adding an extra hand wheel to your frame is priceless, especially yes. if you do a lot of custom quilting, or maybe it's a little hard for you to grab, um, grasp that pole and turn it. Yeah. This is fantastic. I love the extra hand wheel. And you put it on the pole on the front of your machine that holds backing. That's where you, that's where you place this. Um, the next one we have are the bungee grabbers. Oh, and they're actually over here. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> These are the bungee grabbers. And this is something that comes standard on our um, gallery frame, the gallery two, which comes with like an Amara 24, an Infinity, a Forte, all of those bigger machines. But it it does not come standard on the on studio, studio frame. frame. So this yeah. is awesome to upgrade. They just make it so much easier to use those um, bungee clamps on the side, which is one of the keys to keeping your quilt um, straight and square, isn't it, Denise? It really is. And, and I have a little personal tip on this. Um, I have arthritis in my thumbs, which mm. is really no fun at all. Um, before using the other style of holder that comes standard on the side of the studio frame, it's kind of hard for me to do unless I use two hands. These bungee grabbers, I can adjust that side clamp with one hand. Exactly. It is life changing. It has made things so much easier for me. Uh, they're I, awesome. Yeah, they have to be on all of my frames yep. from now on. I love and, them. And if you do want to get add some of these to your Studio 2 frame, what you need to be sure and do is buy two packages of them because it comes in a set of two, just like the picture you see here. So just take a note of that. Um, the last thing we've got here is uh, <coughs> some got, easy grass clamps. Yeah. Now, Denise, this is kind of full circle here because mm -hmm. why do we use easy grass clamps? Oh my it goes gosh. back to what we talked about at the beginning, right? It does. We really want to have a nice quilt surface that we're working on, but mainly we want to have good tension. And so what I like doing on a frame mounted machine, I have a little test piece loaded off the side. I just take a piece of um, like 10 inches by width of fabric for top, another one for the back, put a real thin piece of batting in between, and I load it onto the frame of the machine with these easy grass clamps. And we have these for all the sizes of our frames. So yep. you can get the small ones for the studio frame, loft for the loft frame, and then the large ones are for the gallery frame. But this way I can load a side piece, 
do some stitching and then I can just take the front clamp off that's closest to me and then flip the fabric over to see what the tension looks like on exactly. the back. It's that easy. There's no climbing under the quilt. There's no worrying about what it feels like. I can see what it looks like. And so these to me, these are in my um, go-to quilters must haves. They, they are really necessary. So, oh, just my two cents. I, I love know, them. I know, they're, I they're fantastic. Them. So that that really, um, Denise and I, we this morning when we came into the studio, we were pulling everything. Those really are, our, I would say, our favorite, our favorite. things. And mm -hmm. we're, we're always not, you know, do we really have favorites? It's like our children. Let's put it this way. All of the things that we just showed you are our go-to things that we use all of the time. And yes. I, you know what? I just realized there was one thing we forgot to mention. This is, this is my last thing that I want to show you guys. These are the handy iron off pencils. These are so great, aren't they? Oh, for marking gosh. quilts. Yes. So we have those really great water soluble blue ones that everybody <laughs> can find just anywhere. But what if you're marking dark fabric? Exactly. Yes. Cause on the front side, I can use another marker, but on the back side of the fabric, this dark color that shows up really good when I use this awesome pencil because it yeah. shows really, really beautifully. And you can, it's easy to mark with and it's got, um, I, one of the things I love about it, and this is kind of just me, it's got the little string that you pull down the side and then you peel it off. I yes. don't know. I, it's like one of my favorite things no to do. No pencil sharpener needed. No pencil sharpener mm -hmm. needed. Really so I can keep it in the pocket of my apron or um, in my little tool caddy that I keep by my machine and it's always ready to go for marking quilts. Yeah. So. And it comes off really easily it does. when you need it. To it irons, it, it irons right off. It's yep. not a problem. It stays put, doesn't rub off until you iron it off. So that's that's awesome. I know. We have lots of really great favorites, don't we? We do. We do. Well, and we have a lot of different tools just depending on the type of quilting you want to do. Uh, you know, my mom, one of her favorite things to say is 90% of getting the job done right is having the right tool for the job. Your mom's so, a smart lady. She is a very <laughs> smart lady. She's the one that taught me how to sew, so she knows. But that's that's uh, that's pretty much what we have. I'm trying to think, Denise, is there anything else? Hmm. I don't know if we have time we can show them stitching with some of the other feet i don't know how much time we have today um i love showing things off but i love to stitch and play too so <laughs> i'm happy to show some stitching if we have time. i love all of the accessories yes i'd love to see just a couple of stitches real quick but you're telling me i don't need a pencil sharpener no nope. no pencil, pencil sharpener you guys isn't that cool i saw so that and my, so my mouth dropped i was like this is life-changing i mean it's so convenient it is. It, it, it absolutely is. And you know, the other thing I absolutely love about it is like with the marker, when that runs out, there's like no visible cue that you're like almost out of marker, yeah. like the blue marker, right? But as that pencil gets shorter and shorter and shorter, you know, you know when it's time to grab a new pencil because it's gotten so sharp, you can't hold it to mark with anymore. So, oh yeah, you know, and I, I love it. You... And it's like the process too. It's like, you know, yeah. you're, yeah. you have like a routine and I'm very yeah. much like routine oriented. So I love that. I'm like, oh, it's good. I'm going to tell myself you know like you're yep. I don't know I love that I love that concept <laughs> oh and there's more than one pencil on a package too, yeah which is great because I've got it one comes with a, pocket a set my, of four yeah each of my long arms so I'm never without one of those yep exactly I'd have one in like different locations just like mm -hmm. chapstick you know you need it everywhere yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. One by my uh, domestic machine, one by my embroidery yep. machine, a couple by my long arm. Yeah, I've got them all over my my quilting studio. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to try just a couple of stitches real quick, and then I can pop yeah. back in and if we have any questions. But yeah, I want to yeah. see, especially that new machine. I've been eyeing that so much recently. Oh, I, know. I want to see what's going on. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Before we stitch, I'm going to show another one of my favorite features because I use the stationary machine a lot. Kim's almost a foot taller than me. <laughs> it's why we're both sitting. So we're so, like the yeah, same height here. The table is set kind of between our heights, but realistically, I'm, I quilt much lower. And the thing is, I can touch a button on our lift table and look at that. It goes lower. Not that you need it lower. I'm like, let's no, go a little higher, a little higher, a little, little higher. <laughs> but how awesome is that? Sometimes if I don't want to sit, if my back's hurting or I need to change my posture, I can lift the table higher and I can actually do my quilting while I stand. So this is truly a stationary machine, not a sit down because I can stand in front of it too. Exactly. And I can even operate the machine with 
um, a button on the screen. I don't have to use the foot pedal. So this has really been a huge life changing thing for me just to make it much easier to quilt. So, so should we do some stitches? Yes. Yeah. 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 So okay. um, why don't you stitch one of the patterns that you had drawn out for that other quilt? Let's, could you do some wishbone for us? Oh, I could. That's Let, one of my just start favorite. over here. Oh, we've still got that, uh, the sure foot I've on. I've got the sure foot which on. Which is just fine. Oh, and look at you. You're even going from smaller to bigger, just like you're going to on your quilt. Just like I'm going I'm to so do it. Me. That's fantastic. I remember when I first started quilting, figuring out how this kind of, it's like you move forward, but then you move backwards. <laughs> I had to do a lot of, of uh, doodling yes. and practicing this oh, design before I was able. Key. With free motion, you really do need to doodle. But I also like to try to keep my stitches connected whenever possible. Mm -hmm. So if I come to a point, I can just start stitching in the other direction when I'm at that point. Look at you, flipping that around. My hands are getting just a little slippery, so I'm just going to grab my little sweet spots here. There you go. I remember to use those tools. So this has been a fun machine for us to uh, get to quilt on. We're really lucky in the studio. We've yeah. got one of everything. Fun. So we're able to just have a lot a of fun bit. doing all different kinds of projects on all of the different machines that oh. that we carry. I know we're we're just so lucky because um everybody else has to go to work. So we don't have to go to work. We just get to play. I know. So. <laughs> but because we took the time right at the beginning to set our bobbin tension and mm -hmm. then check our upper tension and our thread path, look how gorgeous those stitches oh, they are. They look so good here. We can we tilt we'll tilt it up, tilt a, little up bit. a little bit so, so everybody can, can see, see how pretty those stitches are. Look yeah, at how beautiful those really stitches are. Stitch really nice and even. Denise's gorgeous quilting. Wow. So fun. The the trick here is just making sure on my my lift table that my insight sensors underneath are covered. So mm -hmm. I still make my backing a little bit bigger like I would on a frame mounted machine, but it's just to ensure those little sensors are always covered. So I have really high quality stitches. Um, but you know, if you're not into stitch regulation, we have manual mode too. So, <laughs> you know, you get the best of everything. It's really been a great machine to play with. It uh, is. I think you'll see a lot more demos coming on this machine. Yeah. Um, watching our on our YouTube channel and stuff. We have a lot of fun stuff planned with our with the, the ST. It's a great machine. It's a really great machine. Yeah. So Kennedy, have you had a chance to stitch on this machine? I have not. But like mm. you were just saying how we're going to do a lot more demos, we want to too, because as soon as we saw the Amara, you know, sometimes when you see the big machines, it can be, you know, a little scary. You're like, I don't know yeah. what would you do with all that. But as soon as uh -huh. you see it and you see how smooth it is and how easy yeah. it is, oh my gosh, I'm like, can I try it? Can I try it? I yeah. Can I, can I finish something on it? Please, please. <laughs> can we get it right here at my desk? Thank you. That's that's what I want. Oh really? Yeah, you could use it as your desk, and and if it's not comfortable, just oh. you know, lift it or drop it. Lift it, a it up bit or down. Until it's comfortable this is a desk. That's the same thing. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's the I'll same mechanism like and. You can put casters on this table, so you could just roll it right up. Oh my gosh! I'll be like Blaine. Look, it's it's ergonomical. I it's good exactly. for my back. Absolutely, and it's just yeah, an absolutely. added bonus that there's a machine on there. That's all. That's all. <laughs> exactly. You could also add one of the um, extensions that are coming right. soon, oh my and goodness. we are going to be able to even um, have more space to each side if you'd like. We can put a bigger quilt on there and not have it drag, um, or you know. Have our computer set up off to the side so we can watch tutorials. Denise, while I'm going to call you for my sales pitch when I talk to you about this. I'm going to be like, look, I got Denise on my side, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll talk to Blaine. I'll tell him you need it. Perfect. Perfect. I can't wait. <laughs> but yes, I am so excited to try that machine. And every time I get my hands on a handy quilter machine, it just refreshes my memory of like, oh, you know, I can yeah. do this. I'm good. Yep. I got this. And especially we got so many comments while you guys were chatting about your favorite accessories that pretty much all of your, you know, products that you have are so, you know, beneficial to, you know, what you're doing. So say with mm -hmm. that table, for example, if you're standing, like 
you're taking into consideration the customers, you know, if they're in pain or if they have issues or maybe they have mm-hmm. list problems, like all of your products are so ergonomical and, you know, easy to use for anyone, which I really love. It really provides a lot. Yeah. The big key here is that we're quilters mm-hmm. and we know what quilters need and we use our product. So we get to, like Kim said, we get to help develop the products. Mm -hmm. Um, We get to play with them. We get to test. We get to offer real feedback before it even goes to the the market for customers to play with. We're playing with them all the time here. So we we have the best jobs. We do. Yeah. We absolutely do. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah. No, I love it. And I can tell how passionate you guys are with it, which, you know, me as a customer, anybody watching as a customer we take that, you know, very seriously because we want Mm -hmm. to know that you like the product. We want to know that you use the product. So I, it just makes me excited. I'm like, what do I want to work on? Maybe I'll pop over to the store and get on the infinity. And (laughs) there you go. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) You absolutely should. (laughs) I'll let you guys know if I do, I will. (laughs) I just thought of something we didn't show you all something that I love. And it's because we're on the stationary machine right now, but we have ruler bases that work for our frame mounted right. machines too. So if you want to do ruler work and you really like that and you love playing on those frame mounted machines, don't forget yeah. about the ruler base because there's one for each machine. So yep. uh, just remember, like everything's thought of already. Yep. Yes. See, yeah, exactly. Like you guys are just the best. I swear. I promise. <laughs> it's amazing. Everybody in the comments too, they're like batting scissors. They're, mm-hmm. you, know, you guys just think mm-hmm. of it all and the yeah. comment about people using your scissors we can all oh, relate yeah. to that we can oh, all yeah. relate we all <laughs> have the secret drawer right yes <laughs> yes exactly exactly all right ladies well thank you so much for coming on and hanging out with us today and just providing all of this amazing education and information for us um I'm, I'm excited. I feel like everybody is a little bit more inspired today to try long arm quilting. And that was the goal. So thank you so much. Oh, wonderful. Well, thanks for having us, Kennedy. It's so much fun to be here. Oh, thank you guys. I will let you guys get back to your testing and maybe testing of new products or whatever, whatever you've got going on today. I will let you get back to it, but thank you again. And we will see you guys on Quilt Fest. Yes. We'll be, we, we actually were just talking about that. We're planning our project. Um, we definitely have something up our sleeves. So yes, we're excited for Quilt Fest. Uh, we'll see you Ooh. in about a month, you said. Yep. Yes, yes, I cannot wait. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you all so much. Bye guys. All right, you guys, what did you think of that? I want to know, let me know, what were your thoughts? Um, I, I love having them on today. They are so Kim and Denise are just so you know well spoken because they really know the product if that makes sense like they really they work with these products all day long they work on these machines all day long so they really know you know what our concerns are you know as customers so I just really appreciate that and if you guys ever need information we always have tons of information on our website with handy quilter products we, there's tons of, you know, downloads that you can find and there's tons of information on our website. So if you ever are curious or just, you know, want to look into Handy Quilter and just kind of browse at what information they have, just go look at our website. I promise you will find um, some useful information for you. Even if you don't even long arm, I guarantee you'll find something you can um, keep with you and keep in your back pocket to remember and, you know, learn a little bit. Arnell said they showed us all the great things for quilting. They did. Like, that's exactly what they did. And that's kind of the point of these shows is, you know, not so much like we have Blaine's show where we show you all the best, you know, products and, you know, savings and things like that. But Takeover Tuesday, I just want you to see what products are being used, what's popular, what, you know, what new education is out that you can take because it's my job to give it to you guys. So I love when we have a successful episode and you guys are inspired. That's my favorite. That's the goal. All right, you guys. Well, Belinda said she's getting her long arm this year. Let me know which one you're getting. I would love to know. And if you ever need any help, I'm always here, you guys. You can always ask me. I can try and help out a little bit. Still learning, but I have got plenty of ways that I can help you guys out. So feel free. Let me know. I'm always here to help. I always love chatting with you guys about what you guys are looking at and what machines um, but I think, I think we're about ready to get to some giveaways, right? Right? Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. I think it's time. 
So I am going to get our normal pump it up the jams, pump it up the jams, and let's get into some giveaways. So I think our first one, of course, we have to do a sewing mat. So if you are looking at the screen right now and you were like, Kennedy, what is this thing? What is that? What, are, what am I looking at? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Because these sew mats are so great. They help. So basically, you keep them under your machine. You can put them on top of your table. If you have a stay perfect table, you can put that right underneath. Basically, the whole purpose of our sew mats is to reduce the vibration and the noise and um, any type of movement that comes from your sewing machine while you are working on a project. So they're great. If you ask anybody here in the comments now who have been watching this show for a while, they'll tell you everybody needs a mat. Carol Lombardi just commented, everyone needs a mat. You read my mind, Carol. Thank you. Um, but yeah, they're just great little tools. I mean, I need to get one on here if I am being completely honest because I feel like my life's a little incomplete without a sew mat right here because I'm here all the time. But it's okay. So let's go ahead and see who is going to win this sew mat. Are you guys ready? Let's see. Spin it. Dun, 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 dun. Nana said she has one under her serger also. Yeah, we have four different sizes. We have all the different colors. And Lori, since you just won, you can go ahead and head to smplive.tv, pick out the color that you would like and the size that you would like, and we'll ship it right out to you. How does that sound? I am so happy. Lori, congrats. You have just won a brand new sew mat of your choice. So go on down to the link below to smplive.tv, put out your information and we will ship it out to you. I'm seeing all the comments. Everybody's saying congrats, Lori. We're excited, I'm excited for you. Alrighty, now, I just saw a comment. I want to address it real quick. The Takeover Tuesday that was rescheduled um, a few weeks ago, I am working on getting that back because I was so excited for that show and I love Carly and I want to get her back on Takeover Tuesday so bad. So we're working on it, um, we are, we have some some big things going on going over here at SMP. So we are going down the list of everything we've got to do. So it is on my list of things to reschedule. So I'm hoping soon we will get her back in and talk about embroidery. Because I was so excited. You can ask Kyle. I'm like, Kyle, I don't want to miss the show. And he's like, you're sick, Kennedy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. We are good and we are going to get that scheduled, but let's get back into our giveaways. I just saw the comment. I just wanted to address that really quick. Next up, we have a $100 gift card. Now, hold on just a second. If you liked any of the products that you watched from today's show, we can get you that gift card and you can start shopping. So, I mean, you guys, put your comments in now before I spin the wheel. So that way you are entered in and we can this out to you. So I'm going to come back over here and we're going to spin to see who's going to win this $100 gift card. All right. Are you guys ready? It's going. It's going. Dun, dun. Who's it going to be? Pamela Mason. Congratulations. You have just won a $100 gift card to SMP. So go ahead and head to smplive.tv fill out the information for us we'll get you that gift card and you can start shopping and you can stock up i mean i i don't know what you might need maybe needle thread pick up some of the basics just because it never hurts to get more needles more bobbins all the essentials pick up some of those for me and then treat yourself to something fun or i mean i don't know there's so many things on the website i mean there's even saunas did you guys know that we carry saunas just letting you guys know if, you, if you're looking for one, I got the link for you. <laughs> we should put one in here. Just like a, I don't know, where will we put that? But let's go ahead. I think what I want to do is do one more. One more gift card. How does that sound? Is that okay? Is that okay? I think we're going to do one more. So let's go ahead and spin who is going to win. Let's see. One more gift card. Da, 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 da. Dun, da, da. Jan Donnelly. Is this your first time winning? I think it is. 
congratulations, Jan Donnelly. Go ahead and head to smplive.tv to claim your prize, and we will get that gift card out to you, and you can get shopping. Try some new stuff. Try, I mean, again, I was just talking about all the things we have on our website. If you just start browsing, we got tons of stuff that you can, that might even help you. There's always a sauna, you guys. Just saying, if anybody has a sauna from us, or has purchased one, please send me a picture. I really want to see. I really want to see. <laughs> All right. Our last giveaway for today is going to be, I feel like this is very essential for all quilters and not even quilters, just everyone. I was the type of person that never used this. And then once I started using this, I can't live without it. What You're like, Kevin, what are you talking about? It's an iron, you guys. Everybody needs an iron. So we are going to give one lucky winner one of these today. And look at how adorable. That cute pink color. It's a great iron, if I'm going to be completely honest. We used it a couple weeks ago. And it's it was really great. I mean, when you find a good one that's just reliable and you can use it every single day, what more do you need, guys? What more? All right. So let's go ahead and spin. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Are we ready? Paula, I'm not giving away a sauna today. <laughs> oh, she just won. I'm going to go ahead and spin one more time so we have a new winner. Um, Pamela, I'm sorry, but we let's get somebody new on here. I'm going to go ahead and spin one more time. Dun, dun. Did I think Lori... Did Lori win already? I'm... Right? You guys tell me. I think she just won. Let's go ahead and spin. I think we're going to spin one more time because maybe what I'm going to do here, I'm going to refresh our our thing here really quick. Let's just do this. I'm Lori won, right? Let me know. Okay. Okay. We're good. I'm like, am I going crazy right now? I... <laughs> you guys. Okay, so we are going to spin one more time. I just had to refresh the screen. So let's go ahead and see who is going to win today's little iron. Arnell, congratulations. You have just won a brand new Singer Steamcraft iron. So congrats. I hope that you enjoy. Go ahead and head to SMP Live. Dot TV to claim that prize and we will get that out to you. Um, yeah, congrats. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that before, guys. That was the first time that that's happened to me, I think, on the show. The same winner is going twice, but normally it's very randomized. I'm sorry about that. But, well, that was Takeover Tuesday episode. What episode are we on? I think we're on 33, which is crazy. I just can't even believe it. You guys have seen me go through so many different phases and different things with the show and you've seen me grow. So I'm so appreciative to you guys for sticking with me and hanging out with me every Tuesday. It's been so much fun. Um, it's, it's great. I love it. And I'm so glad that you guys are all here to hang out. And um, yeah, it's great. Scott said I need to feed the squirrels that run the wheel. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll let them know. I'll be like, guys, I'll have a meeting with them. <laughs> I'll let them know. Well, I am going to go ahead and get into our meeting that we have today because we are discussing all things at Quilt Fest and even more about the live shows. So I'm going to get on out of here. But I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day today and week. Do one thing for me. Here's your homework assignment. Try something new when it comes to sewing, quilting, or embroidery. Maybe something you learned from today. I don't know. Just try something new. Look something up. Look on Google or YouTube. Just a random thing. Try it. See if you like it. And let me know how it goes. Join our Facebook group and message me in there and let me know how it goes because I'd love to hear. You guys know I was working on something last week and I posted it in our Facebook group and you guys had such nice, um, you know, feedback and just things like that. So if you're looking for some second opinions on projects, join our Facebook group because they will be there for you to let you know everything you need and everything to change or anything like that. It's great. I love it. So I'm going to get out of here, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will, we will see you on Thursday, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys. I'll see you soon.